a good question from another uh, anonymous questioner um, uh, who asks, at what age uh, should I start prostate cancer screening? Well, um, there's no specific age, uh, there's no cutoff. Uh, everything in biology tends to be incremental. Uh, I've already said that prostate cancer is associated with age. And so if you start screening men who are very young, and i.e. less than 40, less than 45, uh, their risk is very low, and you'll have to screen a lot of men to find an individual with disease. If you um, instead concentrate on the proportion of the population where the disease prevalence is going to be highest, so men in their 60s, um, uh, maybe early 70s, um, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to screen fewer men to identify uh, the cancers that matter. What we need to do, I think, in the future is have some information to tell us a little bit about risk. And this is called stratified screening, so or risk-based approach to screening. And it may be that knowledge of um, your family history, of the genes that you were born with, um, uh, or, or of certain kind of aspects of your, of, of your life, um, or previous diseases may predispose you to prostate cancer. Uh, and it might be those individuals that are then offered uh, an invitation to a screening program. Um, AI, I've mentioned it, um, it took me a few minutes to get there, but artificial intelligence is, is being used to um, see if we can identify any features or attributes of individuals or their diseases that are more likely to be linked to prostate cancer that so far we, we, we may have overlooked. So I think, I think the future is gonna change quite a bit. Um, uh, the knowledge of the genes that you were born with, and you only have to do that test once in a lifetime. Um, and there's a lot of work going on in that to see um, whether that increases your risk and whether those individuals should be screened earlier and maybe also screened more often. So the other question that comes up quite a bit is, at what age should I start screening? Um, uh, the other question is, how often should I screen? Uh, and again, we don't really know the answer to that uh, because you can only really work out the ask, answer to that once you've done a screening uh, program and you know the yield that is generated from that program and then you can model what might happen if you reduce the screening interval or indeed increase the interval. The question that nobody tends to ask and I haven't seen it asked yet is at what age we should stop screening. Um, so there comes a point uh, in a man's life and that can be chronological uh, age or that they, um, their, their kind of health deteriorates, where there's really not much point in screening because if we found a cancer, we probably wouldn't do very much um, when we uh, came across it. Um, and, and obviously, um, again, there's no specific age at which it's appropriate to stop screening, but, but there is uh, a point in everybody's life where, where that uh, moment arises.